everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. And back to the present. So what you just saw was the very end of yesterday's session because I didn't expect to end. Normally, a chapter ends, uh, it's in complete darkness and it says, hey, you died or whatever. But it didn't do that last time. I wonder if it's to sort of show that the death there wasn't sudden. It was more like gradual, maybe like a light fading away. Point is, I didn't like I, I I didn't want to just put that in yesterday's video because I want um, the chapter's title card here in the video. The damsel to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Except it feels like we're gonna try to save her. Though I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah! My trick. <laughs> yeah! Who are you talking about? We just met for the first time. Man, narrator is an interesting character because he is both subservient to the world, he exists to describe, right? But he's also a godlike entity because he can exert control over things by just describing them. Then. Maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, capital H, huh? Yes, he didn't approve of hey, this last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Smitten kitten. All right. Um. Our beloved. Well, maybe you shouldn't discuss that. Well, I don't. You cannot discuss anything yes, because narrator will be sneaky will, about your intentions <laughs> if you want to try and save the princess. Well, that's the narrator yeah, saying that. So all of the cards are on the mm. table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love. And the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you Four, wait, worse. so hero, him? We'll see about that. Me? Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. Oh, and the princess. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Accurate. Uh, 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 Those are two very different questions. <laughs> you indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Uh, I had a thought and I immediately forgotten. I, if it's important, it'll come back. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version. Oh, uh, yeah. Last time, so this cha the chapter one preceding this is a very long one compared to a very involved chapter compared to my previous you chapter died ones. Last time probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. This is, that's the funny part. It's the opposite. You were the one who did us in, villain. Yeah. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. Yeah, how do you battle a force of nature? Because that's what the narrator is. It is the structure of the universe in this very small universe that exists. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Oh no, I am all in. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I mean, it's true. The The... What if the destruction of the world is just the story ending? The story ends, you know, we reach the boiling point where, where the story is over, the hero or the princess is dead. And so this world does not need to exist anymore to uphold the, the, the world. And so it ends, except there's no way a character inside the world, such as a narrator, uh, would be able to understand that because otherwise he would beg for us to keep to keep keep trying to slay her but never actually doing it just making it 
like just last forever. What do you mean? Of course, a forever confrontation. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequential. Because yeah, me. like 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 the game is extremely cagey about how the end of the world is supposed yes, to come to be. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? My theory, which I don't know if the game will be able to acknowledge it, is that the world ended, it ended, and then an infinite amount of time happened, and then the conditions for a new world to emerge emerged, and it just kind of went forward in a similar but not quite the same way. And so it's not so much alternate universe, but a, 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 a series of looping universes over spans of like just unthinkable amounts of time that's my thought if it's the latter what do you think happened after you died do you think the people there lived happily ever after or do you think that the princess left unhindered brought about the end to everyone and everything just like i told you she would i mean yeah but yeah but no like, i don't think the princess does it on purpose she would never. I think it's just She's a byproduct a of who she is. You cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Lots of thinking allowed here about the the, the meta story, rather than concentrating on the story now. I, I feel like I should apologize. Could be any more simple. Princess bad. Stop her. Save everyone. Uh 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 uh. Let's. Just be quick about it. What do you let me ask? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Yes, I, I feel like when people tell you to not overcomplicate things, it's it's because they don't want you to, you know? Huh? Huh? Hmm. So I know this is not accurate. I know she can defend herself, and you are kind of not mentioning the uh, self-mutilation part. Can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens okay, the Smith, world. Okay, Smith, you, uh, calm down. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds I mean, like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Narrator, I feel like that threshold has crossed <laughs> during this very conversation. Why not? Look, I don't I'm think it's an important question, this, but I'll ask but it. It's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. It's just the way things I'm are. going to say that the real reason is because nobody likes me, and they're like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just send him. So you, can, so you can just kill her, and then he'll probably die in the process. And hey, two stones with one bird. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Also, I am Why special in the sense you? that I am aware of the time loop. Where even the narrator isn't. Calling us special isn't going to make us friends, even if it did feel nice. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. Same. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. All right. Uh, Great. Ex now, exhausted if you that. Mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. This is the first time I've exhausted a conversation like that. But, uh... That's right. You can't stop all of us. Uh-huh. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? I've met worse. You're out of the cabinet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. 
I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. All right, let's go. Oh, It'd be boy. pretty funny to turn Three back months. after that. She will lie. Ah, no she kidding. Will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Nope, this is the story where I do believe her. That's the experience I'm giving her. We're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe. I don't. I don't like that I'm siding with Smitten though. I think we've been <laughs> it's kind of lame. <laughs> Pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Alright. Look at that house. Cabin. It's really nice looking the interior cabin. Of the cabin. Oh, this is Clean different. Elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. Yeah, no kidding. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Yeah, which I'm not taking. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No. We're not taking it. So mirror, I'm aware of the mirror. Very different. Yeah. That is meaningful. Is I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. And there's even like music. There's like there. violins in the this air. You'll finally drop that ridiculous <laughs> past life nonsense. You haven't died and you certainly haven't been killed. I mean, yeah, so like I feel like this is like so what is happening shapes the universe that gets created because like things were rougher and rougher while like during the the razor chapter the violence story and uh things are like getting you know like gradually more sloppier and all that like i i i mentioned that so focus up this might be like Stop the opposite get distracted uh, no, no, we're just going in. I'm not gonna touch the mirror to have it faded. I'm kind of used to that. The door to the basement. Wow, we even get light, light this time. Intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. He, he could not justify and saying, wow, it would probably be good for her if she died, probably. It's not how he says it, but you, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm putting down. Basement. If the princess lives here, slaying nah. her is probably doing her a favor. It was really. <laughs> She's in the basement. Well, narrator could have not say his catchphrase. Uh, Hello, is someone there? I don't remember enough. Uh, that her voice sounded her different, voice. right? It's somehow even more like it's the same voice, but said differently. Time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Thank you. Me? Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far Compare wall. Compare... <laughs> look in the playlist and look at a thumbnail for video two and compare these two shots. <laughs> like, the vibe is completely My different. Love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Now I wonder what would happen if you take the damsel route, but do bring the knife and then betray her? It's probably the sort of thing I'm gonna have to think about after I'm done doing, like, the... The most obvious, like, you know, splits. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely... She can hear my spirit. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do afterwards. I'm gonna 
play, go into one state and then reverse. So go violence, then go freedom, then go freedom, then switch to violence, maybe? I don't know. Something uh, to think about. plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Where is this place in the basement? <laughs> But that is straight up like a pretty huge window. It's not even barred. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. As in we're dashing right she over. Us a hero. Oh yeah. The hero would she like that. Really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't <laughs> Apparently it's all you need. I, for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Ooh, interesting that a narrator implicitly and intricately, like, intricately is not the right word, but whatever, it doesn't matter, believes the princess. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self defense. Uh, that is true, Our though. Our hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm well, even to be more fair, we were certain dead. <laughs> we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Uh, 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 I mean, we know that. Uh, uh, uh. This. She's gonna tell her straight up. version of me was pushed to such drastic action it was for good reason that's okay you were just doing your best and that's all that matters ah uh, she still sounds weird uh, she took that in stride like the the she voice actress is really extent, good for sounding like an almost unsettling extent, not actually. quite human that's because she's perfect do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do she doesn't there's no one else. Like oh me. yeah, the entity. Oh. I think he's right because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Mm -mm -mm. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Assuming no lies or manipulation, sh to her, it's like the universe restarted now. So, like, I died, fade to black, fade back in, and we're here. Which is what happened in the video game. Remember what I was musing about earlier? I think their world is literally this game. Uh. I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Uh, that is a wild statement. Isn't that just like our <laughs> darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. I don't think she's drawn with lips. Like, it's just a little V. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. <sighs> this is stupid. I'm feeling like I'm not gonna see more of that JPEG. Hmm. Then I didn't end the world. Oh, there you go. See? She Simple as that. Anything. <laughs> she innocence itself. I'm not so sure. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. 
We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. I mean, I'm not too sure about that. Like, their hand, like, you can see it doesn't, her hand doesn't fit in the hole of that cuff. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? Interesting that's the hero bringing she didn't that care up. last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Nope. No. <laughs> I can't do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... you are what? Take over our body and... I like how it's just rescue her. her. Does it... Not too concerned about the details. It's the concept of I rescue. Would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. Oh, he would. I'd listen to him if I were you. <laughs> he has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? So that's how you control the narrator, huh? That's kind of messed up. You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> that's I'll so stupid. We're doomed. Like, she could have just done that herself all this time. <laughs> like, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, this now is feeling a lot more like a trap. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would believe it if she would just immediately kill us, like, immediately right now. The princess oh, it's a big hug! smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. First person hug! If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. That's true. That is accurate. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. That feels like a hint for something to do in the future. Yeah, maybe like that's a goal, killing her. But no, then she could just like throw a blade out of her face into mine or Who something. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love? Like knowing what I know. What do we do now? Uh, we leave. That sounds perfect. The princess takes Music your hand. Music changed. The last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. <laughs> you don't have to mope about it. Poor hero. He just has no control over anything around I him. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. You're not closing the door Ugh, this time. Look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> the face and the lock fix. <laughs> yeah. That's a familiar move. Yeah, isn't it? Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Kind of mean to lead us all like on like that all this oh, time. No. Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. The the, the window in your cell was She's right. pretty big. It isn't fair. You could probably but fit the in there. The unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah! Yeah, let's do it. Teamwork. Because we couldn't do that last like time. A pair of teenagers in love. You and the princess place your hands on the door. Together. 
Yeah. And the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Yeah, see like he's he has um he has omnipowers. But he's also not in control. I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade. That's right. There's still a chance for you to do the right thing. <laughs> Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. It's tempting. It is honestly so tempting. But no, I've had an idea and I'm sticking to it. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. Good. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Is yes, that what you, you wanted, though? Do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step outside. Wow. A happy ending at last. We did it! What should we do now? Where did everything go? We're in zebra space. Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? <laughs> Nothing colder than being happy. She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all. Ooh, we have feathers. Worthy of a princess. So we are more bird than lizard. Confirmed. Yo. Here we go. Short and simple. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Nah, you know Is what happened. Why the text there? literally said, Why memories now? return. Huh. Nah, that's just being mean. But that's also mean. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. Right? It's not- no, this is accurate. That is just if accurate. So, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Literally, yes. Kinda. Hey, I'm so zombie. Yeah, withered. Hey, Entity. How's it going? I am Ooh. a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. What well, contradictions exist? Your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. I mean, we did not hurt each other. In this one, everything was great. And yet, hmm. my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. 
I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. I don't know if it's really treasuring if you have to do it. Sorry, breaking the mood. We will know when we near our destination. So we're not done. Alright. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again.